Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. small and rounded head, short snout, deep chest, long tail and thin legs and I am called as a cheetah. Cheetah's height ranges from 67 to 94 centimeters with a body length around 110 to 150 centimeters and the diet remains hunting carnivores. So the question arises, how many cheetahs are left in this world? According to the recent estimates, there are only about 7,100 cheetahs left in the wild, with most of them living in Africa. This represents a dramatic decline in population over the past century, with some estimates suggesting that cheetah populations have declined by as much as 90% since the early 1900s. Being with mother cheetah for about 20 months, cheetah cubs learns the hunting tactics as how to survive. Later, they are left to leave by themselves by the mother. Mother takes the responsibility of raising the cubs and safeguarding them from the predators and other cheetahs. Cheetah cubs, both brothers and sisters, stay together until they reach the maturity stage and at a certain point, both females and males separate. The males either become solitary or join forces with another male to form a pair. This will help for hunting and protecting their territory. Usually sibling males will be together. Cheetahs usually separate to breed. Sometimes multiple coalition members will mate with the same female and the confusion over paternity arise once the cubs are born has meant that the Tanobora males are less likely to attack the cubs they come across. Always unsure whether it's their kin or one of their coalition mates. Today I'm going to explain the story of Tanobora the Magnificent Five and the story goes like this. A two pairs of brothers from different families and one solo cheetah decided to come together and they formed a coalition. This coalition is very unimaginary and till today is a mystery as how they can form such a coalition in the animal kingdom. First coalition of brothers are Olorishani and Olonyok. Olorishani means judge and Olonyok means the one who puts efforts to achieve results in Maasai language. Second coalition of brothers are Winda and Lebu. Winda means a hunter in Kiswahili language of Africa and Lebu means the one who is always within a group. The only cheetah joined the coalition is Olpadan, means a great shooter 
in Maasai language and is the solo male that joined the coalition. The rise and fall of a young leader. The smallest member of Tonobora, Ulpadan, came to Maasai Mara from Serengeti along with his sister Siligi. He met his four adoptive brothers in December 2016, just one month after parting ways with his sister Siligi. The courageous and aggressive Olpadon established himself as the dominant male in the coalition, initiating hunts and leading the group across the rough and green terrains of Masai Mara. Olpadon used to be a troublemaker in the coalition as he often picked up fights with Olonyok during his aggressive outbursts. Olarishani would always step in to protect his blood brother and soon become a co-leader with Olpadon due to his advanced hunting skills and peacemaking tendencies. This hierarchy remained stable until the beginning of 2019 when Vinda and Lebu started to regularly attack Olpadan. It's common for male cheetahs to target the gentle area of their rivals, which is what occurred during one of these attacks. Due to the severity of this injury, veterinarians intervened and Olpadan underwent orchiotomy surgery and survived. When Olpadan was away from the group, he lost the place and moved to the lowest position. Olpadan returned from surgery to a different reality with Olorishani and Vinda as the new leaders of Tonobora. This fallen leader was sent to the back of line, feeding last and getting no place in their hunting approach. Interestingly, Olonkok did not hold anger towards Olpadon for his frequent bullying during his days as a leader. With a forgiving heart, Olonkok was the one who tolerated eating next to Olpadan and engaged with him in mutual after feeding grooming activities. A brotherly betrayal that led to the death. With suffering pride, Olpadan began to repeatedly leave the coalition for short periods of time and coming back to his brothers. On one occasion, after the group had a territorial quarrel with two outsiders, Olpadan was seen following the two new cheetahs instead of his brothers, displaying submissive behavior, sniffing at them and resting nearby. With suffering pride, Olpadan began to repeatedly leave the coalition for short periods of time and coming back to his brothers. On one occasion, after the group had a territorial quarrel with two outsiders, Olpadan was seen following the two new cheetahs instead of his brothers, displaying a submissive behavior, sniffing at them and resting nearby. However, the new pair was not about to let an outsider like Olpadan join into their partnership and learning this, Olpadan came back to his four brothers with an apology mindset and the four brothers dutifully accepted Olpadon. Unfortunately, Olpadon again betrayed his brothers and tried to leave the group. In June 2021, he left the coalition to mate and formed an alliance with a younger male named Kijana. But the partnership between these two did not last long. And the next month in July, Olpadon was on his own. He tried to avoid his brothers and the former gang but laying low, it can be hard for a lone cheetah. Encountering his old squad of four brothers, a fierce fight broke out, leaving Olpadon severely injured in his right eye. After this incident, Olpadon, as a lone male with eyesight in only one eye, led a difficult life, feasting only on impalas, resting in the shade. Feeling loneliness, life, however, never remains the same as planned. On the morning of 26 January 2022, the seven years old Olpadan was found dead 
with injuries of cheetah bites. It is not yet confirmed that his brothers or former gang Tonobora were the cause of death, but one photographer stated that he saw the four brothers fleeing the scene with bloody pass and guessed that he was killed by his own adopted brothers of Tanobora. That's the end of Olpadan. From Tanobora to Anebora, the fabulous four. After the death of Olpadan, the remaining brothers, referred to as Anebora, the fabulous four, carried on with their lives as Cheetahs do, with Ola Rishani and Vinda continuing to co-lead the group. Some experts said that the brothers acted more harmoniously during their hunts and showed little aggression towards one another, with one member in charge of stalking their prey while the others held to take it down. The life of a cheetah is always challenging as it comes with many dangers. Nora, the female cheetah, daughter of Narasha and is actually called as Nolari in Maasai language. Nolari means someone who is born when it was raining. Nora was born in 2012 to mother Narasha. Nora is Narasha's last litter. Nora's mom Narasha was killed by lions in 2015 at the age of 11. In 2015, Nora gave birth to four cubs. Out of four, she raised only one cub. According to cheetah researchers, first time, cheetah moms tend to lose lots of their offspring. After leaving her male cub in October 2017, it was confirmed Nora was pregnant again, but soon lost her cubs. She encountered four of the Tanobora cheetahs on December 19th, 2017, minus Olpadon, the former leader, and mated with Olarishani. The Tanobora male coalition met Nora several times, but only three males initially lingered in hope of mating. Attracted by cloud cheetah vocalization, suddenly a lioness appeared in the field and dispersed them. Soon Tanobora lost visual contact with Nora and they were searching for her darkness. After successfully mating with the Tanobora males in April 2018, it was reported that Nora had lost her cubs. In December 2018, Nora gave birth to a new litter, but sadly, only one cub was seen with her. Nora took care of her surviving cub for three months, but unfortunately, in March 9, 2019, it was reported that her female cub was killed by hyenas. It's very sad female, cheetahs losing so much of their offspring. In August 2019, it was reported, Nora was seen with one cub from her new litter. Sadly, this cub didn't survive. In nine years of her life, Nora was only successful raising one male cub to independence. Nora was pregnant numerous times but lost her cubs. It's not clear what has actually happened to her offspring. In February 2022, the seven years old Ola Rishani, the peacemaker of the group, was seen with severe bite marks on his body at the same place where Olpadan was dead. Some believed the bites came from a lioness protecting her cubs, while others said they had seen the brothers crossing the Talek river and the bites were from a crocodile. But the veterinarians who treated the wounds and upon further inspection, they declared that the marks resembled were of cheetah bites and the death remained a mystery till date. Libu and Vinda were with him during his final hours, but his blood brother Olanyok was nowhere to be seen. The wildlife photographers, fans and followers of this magnificent five famous brothers had high hopes for Ola Rishani's recovery. But the noble cheetah took his last breath under the shade of an orange leaf croton tree on 13th February 2022, leaving his three brothers behind. A human wildlife conflict, the relentless three. Tanobora brothers have now become Tatubora, the relentless three. 
showing the strength in the grasslands of Masai Mara, while Vinda leading the trail. In Masai Mara, each day is filled with life's greatest moments, emotions, stories, and from life's first breath to its last. You never know how its story will unfold. Sadly, the trail has a major setback with the death of the member in July 2022. Tour guides and drivers in reserve who witnessed the last moments of the second loss in the group said he was named Olarishani, the peacemaker right from the beginning of the coalition. Unfortunately, there are now remaining two after the third member of the coalition known as Lebo was allegedly speared to death last week by herders near Talek River under unclear circumstances, which are still subject to investigations. The Masai Mara Chief Park Warden, James Sindio, confirmed the death, saying the wildlife veterinarian had already done an autopsy. The report by the officer confirmed a spear was thrown at a close range that ripped off the cheetah's abdomen penetrating from the right side, damaging several internal organs and killing it on the spot. By his words, our rangers were first to find the animal carcass the following morning and immediately alerted the veterinarians, who rushed to the scene, carried out an autopsy and confirmed it was speared to death. The Ambili Bora brothers, Winda and Olanyok, after the killings, the Magnificent Five is no more. The two remaining members are Vinda and Olanyok. In August 2022, they were seen mourning the death of their brother Libu and never departed from each other. They were together hunting wild beasts, topis, gazelles, and at times trying to hunt zebra foals or giraffe calves. Olanyok is expert in suffocating the prey be it a wild beast, topi, or any animal. And Vinda helps to pierce the other areas of the prey with his sharp canines. In April 2023, they were seen with one female cheetah by name Nora and started living with her. And happily, both brothers were mating. And as in cheetah coalition, the female can be mated by any male. Hence, both brothers, Vinda and Olanyok, were seen mating with Nora and having a great time. After some days, it was seen Olenyok was not with Vinda. But after a week, again Olenyok and Vinda have come together, forming the coalition of an Mbili Bora. <laughs> Don't move. Oh my god.